Hi, we are in the Amtrak station in Philadelphia, finishing up four full days of activity with students. Uh, they have been to every great museum, art museum, sculpture museum uh, um, in, in the city. They've uh, gone to the Constitutional Center, the historic centers, uh, the Benjamin Franklin Museum, uh, Independence Hall. Uh, it's been uh, a great four days uh, with really good weather, fine food in Philadelphia, and uh, they've treated us very well here. Now that we're anxious to get on the train on this rainy day and go to Washington, D.C. for four days of uh, more great activities. Hey, right now we are at Amtrak waiting to board a train towards Washington, D.C. Um, it's been a great experience being here in Philadelphia. Uh, yesterday we went through various muse art museums, walked a lot of miles, um, and yeah, it was pretty fun going through all the, the seeing all these different painters such as Van Gogh and um, well, the American um, there you go. the American arts and the Western art, like Asian arts. Like we got to see many different kinds of arts, and it was interesting. Okay, let's go. arriving Washington DC. It's very cold. <laughs> and exciting. Yeah. To go from here to here, we have to go to this station, which is the Metro Center. We have to get on the Silver Line and then go to Roswell. Hey Eric, how is it going? It's going well. You have to make signs like because I cannot hear you. Is it good? Is it really fast? Yes, I'm shaking a lot. Uh, after the island was taken, the Marines, uh, one set of Marines went up to the top of the island and they set up a flag. And people looked up at the top of the, the island and they saw this flag and they went, wow, we took the island. You know, I mean, they're so happy. Uh, and then all of a sudden, the, the marine public relations guys who were always there said, well, wait, nobody got a picture of it. And so they sent a bunch of guys up the next day. They sort of staged this one. It became symbolic of the Americans fighting spirit. This symbol had to be transformed into something more permanent and of course what more fitting place to do that than Arlington National Cemetery. So this is Arlington National Cemetery, originally the property of the Robert E. Lee family. It, after the Civil War it became the National Cemetery for the burial of any military soldiers who served and died during their battle. Originally belonged to the Washington family, but once marriage was a component, Robert E. Lee's family was the holder of the deed.